Hello everyone, welcome to the upfront. Many of you might have seen the recent wedding photos circulating on social media. Mukesh Ambani's youngest son Anand Ambani and Radhika Merchant have tied the knot and their wedding has become a major event on social platforms. Dignitaries from across the globe have descended on Mumbai to celebrate this occasion. Among the distinguished guests, international celebrities such as John Cena and Mike Tyson have made their way to Mumbai. World-renowned singers like Justin Bieber graced the pre-wedding events, adding a touch of global glamour. Political leaders from various regions have also attended the wedding. Prominent figures such as West Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee, former Bihar Chief Minister Lalu Prasad Yadav, former Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Akhilesh Yadav, former Maharashtra Chief Ministers Uddhav Thakre and Sharad Pawar along with their families have been spotted at the event. However, notably absent from the event is the most influential family from the largest opposition party. Reports indicate that the Gandhi family has decided not to attend the wedding, despite Mukesh Ambani personally visiting 10 Janpat Road to extend a wedding invitation to Sonia Gandhi and spending about an hour in conversation, neither Rahul Gandhi, Sonia Gandhi nor Priyanka Gandhi Wadra attended the ceremony. This decision, however, did not deter other Congress leaders from participating. Senior Congress leader Pavan Khera was present at the wedding. Rahul Gandhi has been a vocal critic of crony capitalism for many years. He has frequently accused the government of providing special assistance to conglomerates like Ambani and Adani, which he claims hinders other businesses from thriving. His criticisms have extended to Anil Ambani, particularly during the Rafale deal controversy. Crony capitalism has wrecked havoc on India's economy by creating an uneven playing field where a few large corporations through their cozy relationships with political leaders, receive preferential treatment at the expense of smaller businesses and the general public. This practice undermines the principles of fair competition, leading to monopolistic control, stifling innovation and discouraging foreign investment. Moreover, it perpetuates economic inequality as wealth becomes concentrated in the hands of a select few, while the majority struggle with limited opportunities and resources. Rahul Gandhi consistently speaks speaks out against crony capitalism because he views it as a fundamental threat to India's economic democracy and social equity. By highlighting the undue advantages given to conglomerates like Ambani and Adani, he aims to expose and combat the systemic corruption that hinders the nation's progress and prosperity for all its citizens. Rahul Gandhi's stand highlights the growing socialistic approach in Indian politics. This approach is being promoted by various NGOs also where a public oriented economy should be the priority. Yes, I'm standing here. Okay. And, and, and why are you, why are you put your price rise, sir, sir. unemployment, berozgari, Hindustan ki awaz, home ya uthare, janta ki awaz, sir. ये ये जो पूरा सिस्टम है ये कंट्रोल ये पूरा पुलिस का सिस्टम है आज अदानी जी और अंबानी जी चला रहे हैं इसको ये सब अदानी जी अंबानी जी की सेना है पहचान लो नमस्कार मोदी जी थोड़ा सा घबराए गए क्या नॉर्मली आप बंद कमरों में अदानी जी अंबानी जी की बात करते हो पहली बार आपने पब्लिक में अदानी अदानी अंबानी बोला और आपको ये भी मालूम कि ये टेम्पो में पैसा देते हैं क्या ये आपका पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस है क्या एक काम कीजिए सी को इनके पास भेजिए ना पूरी जानकारी करिए इंक्वायरी कराइए जल्दी से जल्दी कराइए घबराइए मत मोदी जी और मैं देश को फिर से दोहरा के कह रहा हूँ जितना पैसा नरेंद्र मोदी जी ने इनको दिया है ना उतना ही पैसा हम हिंदुस्तान के गरीब लोगों को देने जा रहे हैं महालक्ष्मी योजना पहली नौकरी पक्की योजना इन योजनाओं के माध्यम से करोड़ों लाखपति बनाएंगे हम इन्होंने 22 अरब पति बनाए हम करोड़ों लाख पति बनाएंगे his vocal opposition to the Ambani family in parliament and during the election rallies and campaigns likely influenced his decision to skip the wedding, maintaining his political stance. Interestingly, the Prime Minister Modi has also not attended the wedding so far. Rahul Gandhi's decision to stay away from the wedding shows his commitment to his political opposition. This kind of stance is crucial, especially when he has made Ambani Adani a key election issue. It's a move aimed at 
avoiding any political missteps and staying true to his campaign's narrative. That's it for today. If you like the content we provide, please subscribe to the Upfront and press the bell icon to get notification of all our updates. Please share our videos and educate others. Thank you.